Howdy, Beefalo Bart here, and this video is just going to be relatively short, and want to focus in on some of the resistance mode stuff, and places where you can go when you're running solo. Now this is in the underground. If you head over, right after you unlock the first area, come right over here, come all the way downstairs, and as soon as you can unlock the disposal section, come down here. And like I said, this is great for where you're, <laughs> when you're running solo. Uh, not as much so whenever you're in a full group, because you're going to get a lot of aggro when the boss spawns come in. But you've got the resistance reward, which is going to, once you unlock with uh, a thousand shade tech, is going to give you an exotic cat or exotic item, exotic grenades, food, beverage, exotic ammo. Um, you got med kits and regular ammo. Everything that you could possibly need is right here. So if you're running solo, like I said, I'm like this right here. I'm running a World Tier 1 just simply because I wanted to experiment. I wanted to see how far I could go. I, could, I wanted to explore all the different areas. And get an idea of how it was going to be without having to worry about everything being just so super difficult. So you see, I sit right here. He's focused in on my turret. And I can big headshots. I, I cleared all the way up to this point with just a pistol only. So World Tier 1 is really, really easy. Now, coming out here, this is on the docks, and if you come all the way to the far end, once you unlock the first door, come all the way to the far side, you can come over here to this tent, and you've got med kits and you've got ammo, and you can hold from this position pretty well. If you need to escape, you can run straight across, or if you need to make another, type of, another way to escape, just go left or right, and you can actually go behind the tent, but with both of those boxes there. Until next it, it's easy for you to keep restocked the whole time. Now the storage right across here is one of the areas where you can go to and actually and this is the other one. It's got the resistance reward boxes so you can get the uh, exotics. I mean it, it literally will drop an exotic. If you do it in a group then everybody can loot it in the exotic. Um, it'll just drop for everybody or if you're playing solo it'll just naturally just drop for you but Actually, it was kind of relaxing running through here for quite a while. Um, this is again, this is the carrier inside the carrier. Mess around with these pesky mosquitoes, the drones. Like I said, when you're in World Tier One, you can just focus in on having fun. You don't have to really stress out. I did find out that um, occasionally the weak spot on these shield heavies does not work. But you can sit there and pepper them with a um, historian, and the explosion from the historian will actually damage them, not just their shield. So it'll bypass their shield on the explosion. But it's supposed to or not? Now, this location right here, you unlock all the way back to the barges, and then there's a, another one, this area right here. Which we'll see the name here again. It's the trash heap or whatever. Um, this is actually, I think, wave 50. That's right. I mean, this is a pretty well set up nomad setup. Leaning a little bit more towards firearms than it is anything else. But you can see, I mean, I just used a pecan and, and shredded down the bosses right there. I just kind of, like I said, I, I was trying to see how far I could get, and by this time I was like, crap, I'm this close, I might as well stick it up to le level 50, or the 50th wave, and, you know, I recorded it for, for this, and I was like, oh, crap, I'm getting so tired of being here, this is, this spot right here, if you're running solo, uh, I kid you not, you can literally sit here from... The third or third or fourth wave, whatever it takes you to unlock the two, three doors to to get into here. Once you can unlock the this section right here, the trash heap, you can sit here for as many waves as you want, and as long as you're making headshots, you're I mean, you're using one as none, then you're getting your ammo back. But it's not a very long hike to actually go and get ammo. You can just about make it there and back before the next wave starts. You can see waves 46 through 50 complete. 
yeah, this was a pain in the rump. But I just wanted to show that now I'm into Ten wave 51. Next wave. I finished that wave 51. As soon as wave 52 loaded in, I was like, you know what? Screw this. I just walked out and let him kill me. Because I was just, I was tired. I was ready for a break. You know, just running this solo, holding this location right here for quite a while. I run around, goof off a little bit, then come back, run around, goof off, come back. And you see, by this point, my inventory is full. And mostly what has filled my inventory is caches. There were, um, the, the cache for completing the different phases or waves. And it was tier 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 caches. And I think it was 4 and 5 both were dropping exotics. So, everyone I opened up had an exotic in it. So, that's a good thing. So you can know that once you actually get up, and you can actually get into these longer waves. Now right now, they were decent exotics, and they were scaled normal. But even though this is a world tier 1. Now the regular yellows that we're dropping were just, you know, junks out there, a little low tier. But those are the three spots in the three different areas that if you go to them while you're solo, you can sit there and farm these caches all day long until you get bored of doing it. You can do it in World Tier 1 and still make out with good exotics. Well, hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that thumbs up, um, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. Scans indicate an inbound contamination anomaly.